Okay, guys. Let's say what Adobe, uh, Adobe has your trial has gone, and we still don't want to pay for it because it's expensive. Because it is. Now, what we do right is we create a new email address and a new account. Then, like I did, and then we agree to the services and everything, and then we sign back it. Then we save password, so we can have two accounts. So my account has been created. Uh, no thanks. And then we we'll go back to the Adobe. Go back to Adobe. X that. And then what we we'll do now is go to Safari. Then go to Adobe. If it loads, come on. And then that's me, as we, as we can tell. Then we can uh, download, for example, Premiere Pro. Um, we can have a. Can we have a free and then we can have a free trial there. And then just wait. Uh, to put a second, just put beginner. I am a lover and my own personal looks so continue. And voila. We'll basically get another trial of Premiere Pro. So we'll just open it. Just wait a bit. And then I need a time now that okay. Uh, whatever. And then wait for it to load. Just give it a second. While it's loading, oh, no. so we've basically got Permanent Pro again for another seven days. So we we'll keep doing that all the time until we run out of emails, and then we we'll ask someone else for their emails. So then we can do it again and over and over instead of paying like I think it's the price of it is fairly expensive. I think it's like. Forty pounds, isn't it? Oh, seventeen pound fifteen a month. That's just for Premiere Pro. That's expensive as hell. Oh, oh, apps forty five pound a month. That is expensive. Like, who's gonna pay that much? Oh, and includes that as well. Who's gonna pay that much for editing software? It's bloody expensive. That's each month, not just all in one. That's each month. Bit of a rip off in my personal view, but but what we're gonna do? People are still gonna buy it. But in my opinion, why would people want to buy it when they could just do this and create more loads of accounts, like different email addresses, and so then we could get Adobe all the time unless Adobe will sort something out in the future, like what what will stop what stops you doing this? Like they can find out, I don't know, loads of shit. They can stop. They probably stop this in the future, but until they do, just create loads of uh, like email accounts and everything, and then you can have adobe for free for basically ever so thanks for watching guys and hope you guys hope you guys enjoyed and i hope you guys got any any tips on this and i hope you use this and so we don't get ripped off by adobe and yeah thanks for watching and peace